Right, well, my little talk tonight is called The Flip Side. And I'm going to um, read a verse out. It's a very well-known verse. In fact, Luke used this on Sunday night in his message. It's Ephesians 2, 8 to 9. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. And yes, we, still, we do good works, but that's because we've been saved through grace, not because we, we need, have to. And I think one thing we do have to do is keep remembering that this love, this grace is unconditional. We don't have to go through uh, rituals. We don't have to be religious. We don't have rules. We don't have regulations. We are living in... Under, under grace, not under the law. So we need to keep reminding ourselves that and not to feel guilty every time we, we sort of let, let God down or we let ourselves down. Now, that is the, the first part of the message. If I left it now, that would be, be great, wouldn't it be talking about grace? And it would also be the shortest message that's ever been spoken in New Life Church. But my title was The Flip Side. There is another side to it. We need to give out that grace to other people. This is the hard bit. You know, living in grace, we have to treat each other with kindness. We have to give each other that unconditional love and that grace. Now, grace means going out of your way to help other people. Kindness can be shown in, in lots of different ways. It can be gifts, but it can also just be your time. It might be that you can help somebody sew curtains. All of that is kindness and a kind word to somebody. Grace actually goes against our natural reactions. Our natural way is to put ourselves first. But grace is putting yourself out for other people. I don't know if you remember a few years back we did the, the Upside Down Kingdom and it was about living that way. It's, not, it's against our natural ways, but that's how we need to be. I'm going to just give a, a couple of examples here of how we can show grace to other people. Now, the first one is apologising if you've had a disagreement. Now, I'm not saying that you should always give in to other people. But we can get carried away, can't we? And, you know, we, we might have had a, a little bit of a, an argy-bargy with somebody. And then we should apologise. I shouldn't have let that get to us. I shouldn't have spoke to you harshly. You know, can we put that behind us and can we, we start again? That's one way of showing grace. Another way of showing grace is just let people know that you appreciate them. You know, people who set up the the tech work come in very early to do that. People who make the coffee, people who preach might spend hours preparing that message. You just say thank you, I, you know, I appreciate what you've done. Another way of, of, of showing grace is giving and taking advice in love. I think this is a really difficult one, this one. You know, we, we used to go to a church in Coventry, and <laughs> you, you, you'll remember, they, they used to come up to you and say, I want to tell you this in love. <laughs> I, I don't need to say any more there, do I? <laughs> and because you've said, I want to tell you this in love, doesn't really mean that. Yeah, we got some very harsh words in love. You know, if, if we, we want to talk to somebody, we can talk to them in a very gentle and gracious way. We don't want to be mourners or complainers. We want to speak to each other, give each other sort of advice and take that advice as well. Sometimes that's even harder, isn't it? To take other people's advice. Proverbs 15, 1 tells us, a soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. So the, the other thing we can do to act in grace is helping to people to fit in. You know, as a church, I'm presuming we're all hoping we're going to get new people in. 
That is the aim of the church. If we don't get new people in, what's the point of us being here? Now, when these people come, we're going to have people from all sorts of different backgrounds, all types of different characters, and they might be oddballs, but guess what? <laughs> we're oddballs. We're, we're all got our own peculiarities, haven't we? But we need to find ways for these people to fit in and feel part of us. And it's great that you, that you, you said that you, you felt part of us of this last year. But, you know, we have to make sure everybody that comes in, and you know what, it might even mean that we've got to give up a job that we're doing to let that new person step into that job. So we need to treat new people as well as each other with grace. Now, this is one of the, the biggest examples that I've read personally about grace. In 1987, and Enniskillen held its annual Remembrance Sunday. The IRA had planted a bomb under the cenotaph. The explosion killed 11 people and injured 64. The blast buried Gordon Wilson and his daughter, Marie, in rubble. Unable to move, he held her hand and comforted her as she lay dying. The BBC later described the bombing as a turning point because the attack shook the IRA to its core. Pivotal to the change in attitude towards this sort of attack was Wilson's reaction to the death of his daughter. Here's an extract of what he said. I bear no ill will. I bear no grudge. Dirty sort of talk is not going to bring her back to life. She was a pet. She's dead. She's in heaven and we shall meet again. I will pray for these men tonight and every night. When you read that, you know, could we possibly live in grace? It's, it's not easy, is it? You know, I read a book not too long back, What's So Amazing About Grace? And that is the biggest challenge I've ever read. The examples in there and you think, how would I react? But the, the saddest thing about this book is that the author said that the inspiration for writing this book was when Bill Clinton said to him, why do Christians hate so much? And you know, you, you, re you read that and you think, that is so sad. Let us be a church that's known for our love for each other. Let us be a church that's known for our love for other people and that we can be gracious to each other.